ever watched a great movie or heard a great song and been inspired to do something creative yourself? We're surrounded by creativity all the time, and we can all draw inspiration from that creativity. Okay, but what if that inspiration makes me want to actually use part of someone else's work in my own creation? Did you know that there are ways to do this that are still legal and fair to the artist? Really? Sometimes we quote from books and book reports, or use photos from websites in presentations for school. People use clips of movies and movie reviews, and sometimes even put poems to music for new songs. The possibilities are endless. Sweet! When we want to pull other people's creative work into our own, there are several ways we can do that responsibly and ethically. One way is to get permission. This could mean contacting the author, artist, or publisher and asking for permission. If you have a situation where you need permission, you can try reaching out to the artist or owner. Hmm, that sounds like a pain. What if it doesn't work? What if they don't answer? An easier way to use work with permission is to choose something from the massive collection of creative work that has been licensed for you to use for free. This is called Creative Commons. Artists who give their work a Creative Commons license are giving permission in advance for you to use and reuse their work in your own. Depending on which license they choose, you might have to follow some requirements, but many Creative Commons works are available to use without any restrictions. Okay, cool. Another way we can pull someone else's creative work into our own is by choosing something from the public domain. The what? The public domain. It's free for everyone to use and reuse however we'd like. In the United States, the public domain includes all work published more than 95 years ago because the copyright has expired. Finally, there's one more very important way that copyright allows us to reuse other people's creative work. Depending on your project, you might be able to rely on something called fair use. Fair use is an important part of copyright that allows us to reuse copyrighted work, without permission, in limited ways that are still fair to the owner. With fair use, you aren't limited to works in the public domain and creative commons, and you don't need to get permission. But fair use doesn't always apply. It depends on what you want to do with the work. We'll talk more later about how to know if you're in a real fair use situation. The following videos will explore each of these options for reusing someone else's creative work in our own.